G'day Sticks here with Bemused Rat, and today I'm going to tell you why I'll be getting a PS4 controller for the PC. Alright, so by the time this video comes out, the next two controllers are going to be out. The PS4 controller, the DS4, DualShock 4, and the Xbox One controller. Whatever they're calling that. I don't know if it has a nickname. Probably not. Now, these two are both going to be working on PC, right? And certain games on PC lend themselves to console controllers as opposed to the mouse and keyboard. So, which one do you choose? For the past few years, people have been using the Xbox 360 controller. I've been using the Xbox 360 controller because it just, you plug it in and the freaking thing works with Windows, right? They're both Microsoft. And it's got all the buttons. It's a pretty good controller. The PS3 works with the PC as well, but you sort of got to jiggle it around a little bit and who can be fucked? So naturally, in this next generation, the Xbox One controller is again going to be the obvious choice. You have a Microsoft controller, you plug it into a Microsoft operating system, and then it just works. And you have all the buttons there, you can use them, you can play your controller-related games, and then switch to your keyboard and mouse-related games as the need be. So why would I be getting a PS4 controller for the PC? Well, let me tell you. The PS4 controller is going to work with Windows. It is also going to work with Mac, and it's even going to work with the Xbox One. So it's essentially a generic controller, but you know, not one that sucks balls. And compared to the old shitty DS3, which I have here, I use all the time, it is actually a hell of a lot better. It's weighted better, it's bigger, better feeling, and has better almost everything, right? Let's go now to the problems of the DS3. Problem one is the shitty little triggers they got on these things. Look at them, they're convex, they don't freaking you can't, finger can't stay on there. They're no good for driving games, no good for Grand Theft Auto or anything else. Shooters, they don't feel like a trigger. Although it has that clicking noise. So what do you do, you have to buy a little attachment like this thing, which makes it slightly better and a, you know, better shape and then... Oh no, it fell off. Oh, I gotta put it back on again. Oh, it fell off again. Oh, hang on, hang on. Stop, pause, pause the game, pause, pause the game, pause the game. I gotta stick this back on. Shit. There we go. Ready to go. Problem two is a lot of Xbox gamers have a problem with this. How close together these little joysticks are down here. And your, f your thumbs have got to battle and they freaking touch and it's just a pain in the ass. The controller's so small to grasp in the first place, it sort of feels all awkward and weird. Now to be honest, that's for the Xbox guys who are used to a bigger controller and the thumbsticks being further apart. Someone who's been on PlayStation since PlayStation 1 like me, they're used to it. We use the tips of our thumbs. See, that's the trick. All you Xbox gamers, the tips, use the tips of your thumbs, not the, not the little joints here to sort of play or else you only run into that problem. Use the tips and you're all gonna be good. And as far as the shape of the controller, you're not supposed to palm it. You don't palm this one. You hold it in the edge of your fingers. That's the trick, Xbox gamers. Still, you shouldn't have to make concessions for a shitty controller, right? And the joysticks aren't long enough either. I gotta get this little freaking extension thing. You see that? Just to give me some freaking accuracy in the shooting games. Now for the good things about the DS3. The D-pad freaking rocks, right? Best in the game. Face buttons. Pretty damn good too. That's it, DS3 controller. Works for me, I like it, pretty good, but could be a lot better. Now for the problems with the Xbox 360 controller. What is this thing? What is this thing, serious? WTF mate, the joysticks are in weird places. Why are they over here? Why? I don't get it. This one's up here, this one's down here. Well, that's about all the problems really. It's a little bit cheap plasticky, but the DS3 is cheap plasticky now too, so. Now for the good things about the Xbox 360 controller. Ah, uh, the triggers are actually shaped like triggers. You, you can click them all day. Um, they're still a bit thin for me though. See how thin that is? I don't like how thin it is. I'd like it to be thicker. But that's about it. And face buttons again. Pretty good. Don't mind them. Both the PS4 and the Xbox One have improved their controllers considerably, right? The Xbox One has this awesome Four, you know, what is it, 3D rumbling, whatever it is, 2D rumbling, I suppose, where it's got the rumbling and the triggers, so that the rumbling effect can go from the bottom of the controller and brrr, roll up to the top of the controller or give that sort of depth to it that the PS4 controller isn't going to have and that the current controllers don't have. I would actually really like that in my controller, that depth in vibration. But the PS4, on the other hand, has put a tad on their controller, which no decent game is going to use. Although it could work well for the little indie games, if they have like some sort of weird cool mechanic, you can use it for different controls, but for the standard action games and driving games, 
I don't see it being used all that much. But one of the best parts about this touchpad, which I read somewhere, is that you can actually use it as a mouse cursor. So when using it on the PC, this will really help, using, instead of having to grab the mouse, because, you know, that's such a big deal. You can just use the little touchpad. You can move it around, click on the menu options, whatever you need to do with it. And especially on the PlayStation 4, this is going to be a huge deal, because surfing the net on a PS3 sucks balls. I'm sure it's the same on the Xbox, I'm sure it has to be the same on the Xbox because there's just, the controls are not built for it. You just need to either select or option by option moving around or do the slow dragging on the joystick around. Whereas yeah, if you can just use a touchpad, bang, click on it, boom. It's almost like, it's like a laptop, you like surfing on a laptop. It's gonna be a hell of a lot better. I'm a big fan of that, I like it. I give that the thumbs up. That is not reason enough to use a PS4 controller on the PC. So what is? Well, the reason is Sam's getting a PS4. And I'm not getting a PS4. So if I want to play PS4 with Sam on the same controller, I'm going to have to get the DualShock 4 controller. The Xbox One controller is just not going to work with it. And I can't count on Sam buying an extra controller for me. So I'm just going to have to get one myself and hope he'll play with me. <laughs> so I want to leave you with something cool. So go check out the Steambox controller. They've got a 3D rendering of it on the internet you can play with. You can move it around, have a look at all the different angles, actually get a sort of sense of the shape of the thing. And this is brilliant. More companies should do this. Imagine if you could do this with the PS4 controller, Xbox One controller at this stage. Just have a look at all the way around them. You can get a better idea of the feel without them having B in your hands yet. That is freaking awesome. More companies should do this. They need the 3D renderings anyway to promote the products. Just let you have a free play. So check that out. Have a free play of it because their controller is weird. It's got discs and buttons on both sides. It's whoa. And I'll leave you with a question. What is your favorite controller of all time? Relative to the time. So, would you, do you prefer the very first one you used, which might be the Nintendo, or are you very much the Xbox One controller is the greatest thing you've ever played with? Because look at those joysticks. Those joysticks look so, so good on that thing. Or do you have some awesome Street Fighter joystick or driving wheel that you love to use? Let me know in the comments. I'm gonna tell you my favorite controller next time. See you later. Woo! Better, 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 better